Hi guys and welcome to another video. I know you guys are probably really sick of me about now. I know. It is what it is. So this is the deal. I just moved into a new home in a new state. And when we moved, we decided that, okay, we could try to just take everything that we have and go rent pods, which are like kind of expensive. Um, we could take everything we own and just, and pay for the extra pod, or we could downsize, use the money that we were going to pay for the second pod and buy what we need there. So the latter option we took. So we have been buying a lot of stuff. I mean, I feel like, oh my gosh, will it ever end? <laughs> Amazon and everyone come, FedEx and stuff, USPS come into the door constantly. I just feel so sorry for those guys. And then we had a snowstorm, of course, and we got for like nine, eight days, we didn't get mail, we didn't get anything. Um, so when everybody could access our road and get to us, we had like just everybody, we had like a line of uh, delivery people waiting to set their boxes down at our doorstep. So it was just a little bit crazy and a little out of hand. So I did um, an unboxing, um, what, just last week, and I got a lot of positive feedback. Everyone said they really enjoyed that. And I get all my content by just reading the comments, reading the emails that you guys send me, uh, DMs on Instagram, and all that good stuff. So I kind of do whatever you guys enjoy. Um, and to let you know, right now, I am trying to distract myself because um, I think I put it in the last videos, last two videos. If you did not catch the Get Ready With Me, uh, the Ulta haul, um, please go back. It's part one and part two. So if you didn't watch part two, then you missed the whole, the good stuff. Um, it just got really long and I didn't want to make anybody like, ah, I have to sit there for an hour and something and watch one video. So I took, I broke it into two, part one and part, part one and part two. Anyway, and it's in a playlist all on its own. So there you have. If you haven't seen that, I will I will put this up at the end of this video so you can go back and watch that. But um, in that video, I explained that my doctors in Tennessee are not satisfied with the scans that I did, what, two months? It's been two months now that I did in California, a month and a half in California. So they want all the scans redone and they want to see with their own eyes, with their own test, uh, what my cancer is doing and not doing. Another thing is, um, I found out just yesterday that my labs came back because um, they drew my blood when I was here. Well, like every other week I get my INS test. I test my INS, which is um, because I'm on uh, warfarin and they have to make sure that my blood is clotting okay and it's not too runny and it's not too thick, all that. So they, because of that, they also wanted to do labs just to make sure that everything was copacetic. So anyway, we uh, went ahead and uh, did that and a couple of my cancer markers are up and they haven't been up in a very, very long time. So they said that it could be the you know, stress, um, eating different food, you know, just, just your body is on in whack and it's telling you like, Oh, wait a minute. You know, um, what are you doing? So it could be that, but there are certain markers and that's why they call them cancer markers. When those markers are all up, then it indicates that your body is trying to tell you something. So anyway, um, those two factors, they wanted to do their own testing and um, my cancer markers are up, so they wanted to just double check, make sure everything is still uh, NED, no evidence of disease. So that has been going on. So I have been just trying to distract myself with everything and anything. 
uh, being locked in the house and not seeing anybody and all of that has been really hard on me emotionally. And then scan anxiety is coming and just all of, all of the above. So I have been just pouring myself into making content for you guys. <laughs> and you are why I am still sane. Let's just say, <laughs> you guys keep me um, steady and going. Your comments, your your forever like support. I mean, you, you guys just you guys are amazing. I I so appreciate you guys. So you guys are carrying me through. It's like having instant friends all the time. It's like, oh, I'm not feeling too good. I'm not. Uh, you know, I'm gonna get the camera and let me talk to my friends about this. It it it's just amazing. And I know that. A lot of influencers will say, oh, you guys, I love you guys. Oh. But you know what? It's true. We do love you guys because you guys are a part of our lives. And I don't think anybody who doesn't do this, 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 they don't really understand how it works and how it really does feel like a two-way thing. Um, so I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys for keeping me sane. All right, let's get down to it. All right. Now, I thought I would start with the um, PR post because the PR um, mail, because that is stuff that I get for free. And I want to be straight up honest about that. Um, and then we'll go to what I bought, <laughs> which is a lot. So let's get going. All right. So the first thing up is from... Missima. All right, and Missima, Missoma is a um, England or London brand of jewelry. And I did a collaboration with them, uh, I wanna say a year and a half, two years ago. And it was so much fun, I just loved it. Uh, so they sent me a two, two gifts as a complimentary, you know, making sure I guess that I'm still here and hopefully maybe I'll get a discount code for them. But I know that I do have a link for this. So anyway, let's see what they did. I didn't even open it. I wanted to so badly, but I did not. I was a good girl. Waited for you guys. Oh, and it's in these cute little packs. I love these things. Look at this. It's like fuzzy. You know, it's like felt, not felt, but like better than felt. Anyway, all right. Oh, and this is not sponsored at all. They were just gifts and I'm showing you. All right. Oh, this is cute. I like it. It's got double, double, um, you know, places to put things in a cute little, little snap there. All right. Let's see. Looks like it might be a bracelet. Let me see. Or maybe... Maybe not. Maybe a necklace looks a little bit big for a bracelet. Sorry, guys. I'm going to try to hurry. All right. Well, they really keep it wrapped nicely so you don't, like, lose it. There we go. Oh, how... Oh, it's my birthstone. Oh, I was born in May, and emerald is my birthstone. How beautiful. Let me see if I can... Let me see, I gotta figure out how to show that to you guys. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Love, 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 love this. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Miss Simone. I love it because they, you know, the birthstone is my birthstone. I don't know if they knew that. I think they do, because they ask you all those questions, you know, and stuff. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this on myself because it is really tiny. And I am really got these stupid nails on that can't. All right. Well, anyway, it's very pretty. I will put it on and show you guys later. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Okay. I am going to put that back in the beautiful little um, pouch that they give you for it. And I'm going to do this. And put that back over here. We got a lot of stuff to go through, so I'm gonna speed things up. So thank you, Miss Simone, for that one. Now this one, 
is, now this one is a bracelet, I think, maybe. Another pouch, I love that. And let's see. Oh, oh no, it's a break. It's a um, 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 a necklace. Oh my gosh, I love these. I saw this on somebody, and I thought, how brilliant is that? It is half and half. It's gold on one side and pearls on the other side, and you can wear it this way, or you can wear it um this way. Or you can wear it half and half like that. Is that not the neatest thing ever? And I love the, I like the clasp on these because they're easier to get on and off. Isn't that just the sweetest thing ever? I love it. I'm gonna put it like that. Ah, okay, I'm gonna keep that one on. That is so beautiful. I love it. Oh, and this is uh, Miss Samo as well. This is from two years ago. I love this one. I wear it constantly. I hardly ever even take it off. All right, I'm going to put this aside. That is awesome. All right, now let's go to, this is from, I can't remember, where is this one from? Reformation or, darn it. Hopefully I can look. Okay, these are Converse. They really are Converse. Okay, oh my goodness. All right, now, these are, hmm, I don't know what they're called. I don't know what the name, it just is Converse. Okay, so look at the toe. It's like squared. Can you see that? It's very awkward. It's a regular, you know, high top Converse, but it's got the chunky heel. And since I am only 5'2", this might not be so bad. I don't know. I don't know if this is really my vibe. <laughs> but um, if I don't, if I can't pull it off, I know my granddaughter will love these. So, but I, I like this. I like this. Um, hmm. And it has the back there. I don't know. And it's got really good traction on it. Like, super, super good. All right, Converse, yay! And I gotta find where, who sent it? I think it was, okay, hold on. I know it's Converse on the outside, but I gotta see who, uh, what company sent it. Hmm. I know that, oh, Revolve. <laughs> Revolve sent the Converse. Thank you so much to Revolve for the funky, fun Converse that will make me about three inches taller. <laughs> okay, we'll give that one a try and I'll report back later on that one. Now the stuff that I bought. <laughs> All right, I realized that as I am cleaning and getting everything done and ready. All I have is nice, nice sweaters to wear. And which, not complaining at all, but uh, they are warm and everything, but some of them like, I don't wanna clean in. I don't wanna risk getting, you know, cleaner on it or paint or whatever. So on Amazon, I went on and I picked up some basic, um, no, this one's on Amazon. This one's H&M, H&M, sorry, sorry, sorry. H&M, I picked up two sweatshirts, and I don't know, hopefully they are what I'm thinking. I wanted oversized slouchy sweatshirts just to throw on with a pair of leggings so I can, um, you know, clean and do stuff in them. But, oh yeah, perfect. Just a plain old boxy sweatshirt. Love it. And it has the ends that are not wide, they come in so you can roll them up and do the cleaning and all that. But I would say that is absolutely perfect. And the color, I don't know, it just looked nice and refreshing, right? I was gonna get black, cause that's what I always do, but I thought, no, 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 I need color in my life. In fact, you guys told me that in a couple of, on my sweater unboxing thing, you guys all said, uh, Jody, you need some color. <laughs> Got all neutrals, you need some color. So this is it. 
perfect, okay. And then this one is the same exact one except for in white. Now, let me explain why I got white to have as a, um, like a work sweatshirt. Because white, you can bleach out and if it gets stains or whatever, I've got that OxyClean and it takes out anything and everything. So white, even though it looks like, oh, you don't want to get it dirty, it is the easiest thing to clean. Whereas blue, if you add bleach to it, it's going to put a bleach spot in it. So anyway, that's why whenever I get like work clothes, like cleaning clothes, I always get white and people make fun of me. But there is a reason. So, and then there's the white one. Very, 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 and they're super soft. Oh my gosh. They're not super thick, just saying. Um, but they are super, 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 they have that fuzzy stuff inside, so they're very soft, very reasonable as well, of course. Didn't want anything expensive. Now, this one is from Amazon. <laughs> I, you know how I love pink, you guys, right? Pink, 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 pink. I could live in pink. I could just put pink on the walls, pink on the everything, and just live in pink. But I would look a little bit ridiculous, so I don't. I have two pink sweaters now, and I absolutely love them both. Um, but when I am out walking, running, um, exercising, all that kind of stuff, I don't have a, I have a big heavy, like, jacket. Uh, oh, which I'm going to show you my snow jacket that just came yesterday uh, at the end. But... I don't have anything like lightweight just to throw on and head out the door for those in-between days or around the house when it gets just a little chilly. I don't want a big jacket. I don't want to wear my jackets around the house, but I want something, you know, just over my shoulders. I got a pink, 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 zip up. Oh yeah, perfect. And it's a little bit short too, so it's not big and dowdy looking. Anyway, I got a pink um, hooded and it's very nice thick. Oh my gosh, this is like nice, you guys. This is like super thick, love it. It's not one of those cheapy ones at all. And the sleeves, yay. <laughs> this is perfect. So I got this just to stay cozy warm in. And that's it for the clothes, I think. Oh no, one more thing. I got these um, because I don't like plain old um, white leggings because they see through that you can show your not so good parts, if you know what I mean. If you're young and you got a good booty and stuff, go for white tights but or white uh, leggings, but I'm old. I am almost 60 years old. There is no way I can pull off <laughs> really tight white leggings, just saying. So, I got, but I like, I think pink um, with white leggings, pink upper white leggings looks cute. So, I saw this on somebody else's channel, and they influenced me to buy it, doggone it, but it's super thick, and they are um, joggers, and they have the nice little waistband that's nice and, you know, firm. They're high-waisted, because everything's high-waisted on me, I'm short, so, you know, and they have this, but they're baggy, they're not tight, and they are completely, Oh yeah, can't even see through them at all. So, and they've got like a fuzzy, like a softness inside of it, and they are stretchy. So anyway, I thought it was a good, um, a good alternative to white leggings. So there you have it. So that's an exercise outfit with the pink. This will look adorable together, right? That and my shoes, my pink. Uh, Converse would look cute, and also the blue would look good. So, and that's another thing. People are like, oh, why do you even bother to look good when you're just around the house? You know why? Because it makes me feel better. Always makes me feel better. Why? It is just as easy to pick up something cute to put on 
to do your housework as it is to pick up something old with holes and yuck, that doesn't matter. It, it's just like it takes the exact same amount of time to put on a eh outfit as it does a cute outfit. And it doesn't have to be expensive or anything like that. This stuff was dirt cheap, you guys. I think the pants were like $14.99, the sweatshirt were like $17.99. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna die if something happens to them, you know what I mean? Anyway, onward, March. All right, so now I got, I don't know if I told you guys, but I love cows. <laughs> Cows are just, I love cows. I love to pet them and to be around them and to see them. I love cows. Cows are my thing, right? I don't even eat cows, so that's how much I love them. Um, I have cow pictures on my walls. Well, I did at the other place, and then we'll be back again. So anyway, I got a cow. I saw this, and I just thought it was too cute. It's a laundry basket. Laundry basket with cows on it. Are you kidding me? This is so cute. Let me see if I can get it open. It's got like a heart thing that goes in the bottom somewhere. It's over there. But anyway. And it's got cows on it. Isn't that cute? I love it. Anyway, it's just a laundry basket. See, it's like huge. And then you can just put your laundry in it and voila. It's cute. I might get a second one because it's super, super, super cute. Anyway, and it's like that. Nice thick material and it's washable. Anyway, laundry. And this, I should have put in the Ulta thing because I got it at Ulta and I forgot to show it to you guys. But this here is from Living Proof. It is Perfect Hair uh, Day. It says heat styling spray for long lasting smoothness, blah, 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 blah. It's a heat protectant basically. So it keeps the hair from frizzing out. So I thought this would be good. It was recommended by Angie uh, from uh, Hot and Flashy, her channel Hot and Flashy. And I've seen a lot of different influencers using it saying that it really does work. So I am gonna give it a try. So heat protectant by Living Proof and it's supposed to keep the frizz down you know, in the humid weather, which by the way, Tennessee is very humid. So that, there we go. And there is, I think that's it for that, but I do have um, uh, my ski jacket that just came yesterday. Hold on, let me go get it. Here it is. It is a, let me see if I can go back so you guys can see it better. It is a nice, comfortable down it's got down in it it's nice nice and soft and it's got these wonderful little velcros to keep the snow out from going up inside of your arm it zips up I got a size large because I wanted to be able to wear all my stuff because I got two two shirts on underneath it and it's still you know it's still very very big, but I like it big. Anyway, so I got this, and it's white, easy to clean, and it's got this cute little fuzzy hood. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Mm, I love it, I feel like an Eskimo. <sighs> anyway, that was the last thing on my list for today. So what I wanna tell you guys is, if you like any of this stuff that you see, will be linked below in the description. None of this stuff is sponsored. The affiliate links are only um, just, they usually have discounts, uh, sales, things like that. Anytime you shop from anybody's link, affiliate link, you will get things cheaper than if you walk in the store to get it. That is the beauty of using an affiliate link. Now, this is the deal. Every single time I buy anything, I go to, YouTube and I type it in like for example uh, my countertops that we're buying for my kitchen I wanted a specific type and kind so I went in and I put um, I put it in the YouTube you know search bar and came up with all these different uh, influencers talking and showing the product and everything and then below their videos there's links 
Sometimes there's discounts, sometimes there's not a discount, but I go to the link and I look at the price and then I look on the price at the site, whatever, and ah, it's less. But most of the time they will have a discount code for you. So anything you buy, whether you follow the person or not, if you're gonna buy it, go to YouTube first and put it in the search bar and then look underneath their video you don't even have to watch their video. Just look below and see if there's an affiliate link. If there is, then you can save yourself money. I have saved hundreds and hundreds of dollars through the years doing this. And I don't know if you're supposed to tell everybody that, but I think it is an invaluable discount store, all of YouTube. And if you can't find it on YouTube, go to Instagram. Sometimes they have stuff there. You know, but that's all I have to say about that. So everything will be linked below and blah, 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 blah. That's it, you guys. I love you all. And I will see you in the next one.